Binai is a village at the foot of the Aravalli Mountains. But any village in India has at least 15,000 people. I head for the palace, which is inhabited by the royal family for only part of the year. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Nicolas. I'm so, uh, coming I've come to see your family. And we're here now. It's, an it's a real adventure. It's an adventure. <laughs> and it's a big country, so it's a big adventure. Sure. <laughs> It's beautiful. This is all my grandfather's creation. And this is all his reading and his passion. It's more like fiction. Is it more like fiction or more historical? There is a story. It's, Whatever you it's huge. You, you name the topic and you'll find the book here. There's all of Flaubert and Shakespeare. I carry on having a look around while Jayeshwari shows me the palace temple erected in honor of a deity named Sati. Hmm. Yeah. Sati was committed when the husband, uh, the ruler, died in uh, a war or fighting or somehow, and the woman sat on the same pyre. She was burnt alive, but she did it on her own will. Oh, Mataji, yeah. before she left to become Sati, to the, she went to her husband's spire. So she put on after So her. before she went, put her hands in, inside where the yeah. other temple is with the mirrors. Right. Then here. And then she left where she was where she became Sati. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Did you see? I'm wearing my special shirt for you. For you. So we can we can have both that way. We both got flowers. My father-in-law. He used to like cars. He used to like dogs, horses, plane also. He was very fond of. So he had a heli, small helicopter type. <laughs> They say in olden times ke there was a curse of Sati. Whoever becomes Raja, he dies early at the age of 45, 50, in between that age. And my father-in-law was the fourth person to die. Then my husband fifth at the age of 45. They say it was a lady was going to the Man died to, man, with her husband. So people in royal family, they stopped. So she cursed them. After five generations, that curse will be not there. So my son is six generation now. So we are praying <laughs> and he is cross 50. Whatever people said, Ki, you do this for Sati Mata. So I prayed, I did worship, I did whatever they said. I need to choose the lenses I'm going to use. There's the 11mm, known as a fisheye, which gives you a really wide view of the setup. Here we have a narrower lens, a 24mm, and suddenly, in terms of the architecture, absolutely nothing is bent out of shape. We're at the limit. We'll put the grandmother on the throne. There's a curse on the family, so she now has to deal with the men dying early, meaning that the women, in this case, her and her daughter, are forced to cope. 
And then to give it a more modern look, there's the cultural aspect with the space filled with books. Key character is the little boy. He's the sixth generation and he's going to lead the transformation. And he's so small, he has to be at the front, otherwise we won't see him. So we're going to build an airplane for Shivanch, a small airplane. Shivanch will play the part of his grandfather. Fan blades, perfect for an airplane. This way. This grandfather that the grandson is playing was pretty revolutionary. He welcomed Tagore and Gandhi into his library and he would hand out books. Great, fantastic work. They're fascinated because here, there are some Muslim words written in Arabic. Mm. We have a big Muslim population here in Benai, and we all, I mean, you know, live in, you know, harmony here. So, yeah, especially Sadiq, his forefathers were here. They worked for, for my grandfather. <laughs> and he's still, you know, making, he's, like, whatever is falling apart, we, he comes and he repairs it, and he's still doing the job. Yes, he also likes to make planes. He likes to make a plane also. Sadiq, now you've learned how to... <laughs> Is that the mosque? Is that the mosque? Many Muslims live here. At the time of partition in India, Maharaja Kalyan Singh Ji opposed division based on religion and told the Muslims to stay here. Ever since, the population has been mixed. Is this where your family lives? Yes, my family. Hello. Say hello. In Binay, we maintain our traditions. The Queen still has the same importance as the Maharajas of days gone by. We continue to listen to her. She looks after us and gives us jobs. She settles disputes. If any help is needed in the village, she attends to it. We respect her a lot. Is this Ganesh? It's a Ganesh temple? I very much like the way that in their temples, they wear costumes, they paint things, and they give it their full attention, like these stones with tikka on them and the bell. So for the photo, it's interesting that they are the guardians of so many family histories. There's the story of the sati we saw yesterday at the temple, the story of Muslims and Hindus living side by side. So I'd like to make a kind of model, a bit like in Hinduism, with consecrated items and collections of objects that tell the story. This is the library that flies. So here, you see, so here, you see, I've made a plane. And here, we'll probably make a small Hindu-Muslim temple to talk about the sati, like a puja, like we see in the temple, with different objects. So this will be the place for the little puja. So where's the woman? It's where the women will tell us the history of the family. Nicola, where is he? Put this photo 
and put this photograph also here. Please. This is our family. Is this your family? My family. You're here? My husband, ah. myself, my son and my daughter. Okay, so even... Everyone's together. Was it a special occasion? Uh, yeah, my sister-in-law was getting married. Mm -hmm. You'll be sitting here. Oh, good, good. Yeah. Very stylish, no? <laughs> It'll be nice. <laughs> As a lady, India is a man power ruling. Nobody takes importance of lady. In the, my childhood, my father was, protected me. After marriage, my husband protected me. I didn't know how to sign my checks. Later on, okay, I have to look after Binayana. Slowly, slowly, my shyness was getting over. With kindness, with, with firmness, I used to do things my way. That's my horse going in. I put some money on this horse. The Maharajas have had wealth accumulated over a period of time. All the wealth was assimilated through the prosperity of the villages and the people and the land. Everybody paid rent and people, the Maharaja gave land to the people. And there are many stories of one Maharaja being slighted by Rolls Royce in England and he brought, he went in the next day and bought 23 Rolls Royces, shipped them to in India, cut the roof and made them the dustbin collectors of his area. So they were very eccentric with the wealth. Come on my Sherlock! I have a winner. A lot of money. I had a winner. I'll make handprints like Sati's. It's a very important symbolic part of the story of this curse that I want to capture in the photo. It looks good, we'll do a test. So, you win, so your horse won. Uh, horse. I have had five races. I win four. Oh, that's a good day. Yeah, it's a good day. Very good day. Your horse won. We have a nice photo. Uh, that's cool. Pilot, can you go? Yoo hoo! How do you drive the car? Lower, Mamo. Lower. Okay. Just the eyes turned. The face looking down. There. Ah, this one is perfect. I think it's the best we've seen. There are many... And... Your sari is beautiful. Thank you. Look at me. A little smile. Great. I think it's good. I'll do the portrait of each one later with the computer and put everybody together. Loda ji, my mother, said that you were there through all the difficult times. That's why you were so close to them in the photo. You are very important to the Queen Mother. You can see everything that's happened in Benay, the Sati, the story of Hindus and Muslims staying together, and all the books that Grandfather has collected throughout the world. It's all in the photo. And there's a new generation. So now Shivansh will do good things here. There was the Maharaja Grandfather, and now our prince will carry on from him. What I like about this picture is the chiaroscuro and the solemn but crazy atmosphere. All the materials, books and objects that feature in the photograph. 